Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017. I am delighted to be joined by Cliff Schmidt, Executive Director at Literacy Bridge. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So talk to us about Literacy Bridge. Who are you and what do you do? Um, well, we are uh, an NGO based in the U.S., but operating in countries where there is a, the greatest need for knowledge in the remote rural areas. So you have brought the talking book. Mm -hmm. It's something that you have created yes. to help enhance, enhance access to knowledge yes. in the field of agriculture. Yes, agriculture and health and in a number of topics. It's basically we focus on the, the individual, on the family, and what is it that if they knew they could, they could double their crop yield or they could see when their babies are sick and then be able to treat them with the right treatment. Um, so issues like that, that's the knowledge that we aim to bring to people. So this is proof that ICT can really help mm -hmm. deliver the SDG goals of the UN. Yes, I think um, s some of the, the most important uh, targets in the SDGs are around human capacity, around how can we provide knowledge to individual people. And so if you want people to, to achieve the goals around uh, reducing or ending hunger and, uh, and having health, um, you have to make sure they're equipped with the knowledge to be able to take control of, of what they have available to them. So how do you work with other organizations? We, um, we typically partner with a government or with another NGO or a civil society organization locally. Um, even in the private sector, we can also work with private sector organizations that, that have an interest in something that does build the human capacity of farmers or uh, of uh, anyone that, that is part of their value chain. And what we do is we, we work with them to understand what is the, the objectives, what is the knowledge that you wish people would have, what are the new skills that you would like people to have. And then we uh, work locally uh, with organizations that know the context to understand why do they not have that knowledge today or what is it that's in the way and try to go from there. So your product and solution mm -hmm. is addressing SDG number two. Mm -hmm hunger, mm -hmm. uh, but really it has many applications. Mm -hmm. It could be used in health, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, women's empowerment, many Absolutely. other areas. Absolutely. It's, it's really all the SDGs, um, some more than others, but those first few SDGs uh, around uh, poverty and hunger and health and gender equality and education, those are the ones that uh, we've had 10 years of experience focusing on. So you have the talking book mm -hmm. here. Yes. Can you explain how it works? Yes. Um, it just speaks to people in their own language, actually in their own dialect. So so I'll give, show you in English when you turn it on. Welcome to the talking book. Press the right hand to choose a subject. And so basically every time you press uh, one of the buttons, it, it responds to you and says, would you like to learn about health? Or would you like to learn about agriculture? Or maternal and child health specifically? Or examining roles of men and women in a community that could make that community more prosperous? So there are different topics areas. And inside each topic, there could be a drama or a song or an interview with um, or an endorsement from a peer local leader. And these are the kind of audio messages that that people listen to again and again and start singing the songs and, and talking about the dramas. And it, it engages conversation and it's a way for technology to then lead to new behaviors or new skills. So do you have to be connected to the internet to use the product? No, it is a standalone device because the places where we are focused on are the hardest to reach places where there's not always uh, a mobile connection there. And so you don't need electricity in your village and you don't need the internet. But you can connect a smartphone to this to update it with new content and grab grab all the usage statistics so we know what people are listening to. So it ties in with the high tech, but it is actually designed to be very low tech and work in, in places that are isolated. Cliff Schmidt, Executive Director at Literacy Bridge, thank you very much. Thank you.